Hello, everyone, and welcome to week three and case three of Musculoskeletal Unknown case series. This is an awesome case. This is one of my favorite cases, so I hope you enjoy it as well. This is a 26-year-old football player coming in with right knee pain. And here we have a lateral x-ray of his right knee. If we take a look initially, we notice that there's no acute fracture or dislocation. Uh, the alignment of the knee looks like it's intact. You know, if you look at the relationship between the femur, the patella and the tibia, everything looks great. There is, however, a small suprapatellar joint effusion here. If you take a look here, there's some increased density here in the suprapatellar recess. It should normally look radiolucent, just like this prefemoral fat pad. This whole area underneath the quadriceps tendon should be radiolucent, just like it is here. But we have this increased density here, uh, suggesting a suprapatellar effusion. And if we look more carefully, we notice that there's a divot in this bone right here. This is the lateral femoral condyle, because if you notice here, the posterior aspect of the femoral condyle is less posterior than this bone, which is the medial femoral condyle. The medial femoral condyle comes out more posteriorly on the lateral view. And there is a divot in the bone here. And if you were to extrapolate a line along the contour of the lateral femoral condyle and draw a line from here to the apex of this sort of defect or divot, this would measure more than you know three to five millimeters. And that means that this is deepening of the terminal sulcus of the lateral femoral condyle. This is known as the notch sign, deepening of the terminal sulcus of the lateral femoral condyle. This has a very high association with an ACL tear. So almost all of these patients who have a deepened sulc terminal sulcus or a notch sign go on to have ACL tears. And although this is really subtle and you can obviously blow by this if you're you know, in the ED, you're reading a ton of x-rays, super important to identify. And if we take a look at this patient's MRI done the same day, so this is a sagittal T2-weighted image of the knee. Notice that there's that small effusion that we already talked about. And this, again, is the lateral femoral condyle, the lateral tibia, the fibula. We know this is lateral because we can see the fibula. Also, the contour of the tibial plateau is flat laterally. It's more uh, cup-shaped medially, so we know we're lateral. We have marrow edema along the anterior lateral femoral condyle and the posterior lateral tibial plateau. These are bone bruises or microtubercular contusions. These are seen in pivot shift injury mechanisms, seen in uh, skiers, skiing injuries, or American football injuries, and which is exactly like we saw it here. And this, when you see this pivot shift injury pattern of bone bruises along the anterior lateral femoral condyle, posterior lateral tibial plateau, this is almost always associated with ACL tears. In fact, the radiology core exam will often show you just this image and ask you which of the following structures is injured. And of course, the answer is an ACL tear. So very important to understand this association. And this is, you know, just for proof, this is a sagittal T2 fat side weight image through the cruciate ligaments. And you can see here, the ACL should normally be running, you know, obliquely here at an angle. There's the anterior medial and the posterior, anterior medial and posterior lateral bundles that run here. But notice that there's complete disruption of those ACL fibers. We can't track the fibers here. There's, you know, some fluid signal running perpendicular to the axis of the fibers here. We can see part of the PCL, which is nice and dark here, but this ACL is totally torn and ruptured. So this is a very nice case of radiographic correlation, MRI correlation of ACL tear. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, next week's case is just as awesome as this, so I hope you enjoy next week's case as well. Uh, please look for it next week. Please subscribe, like this, and share with your colleagues. Thank you so much, and look forward to seeing you guys next week.